Hello and welcome to this week in Campbell football. I'm Chris Amire alongside head coach of the Fighting Camels, Mike Minter, and we're here to talk about a fantastic first game of the season. Campbell wins by the final score of 59 to 7 and coach, at least from my eyes, I thought your ones and twos played nearly flawless on both sides of the ball. They really did. Um, you, the first game is always you don't know what you're going to get. Uh, you've been going through scrimmages. You've been kind of going against each other. Um, will they come out with the same fire and intensity and execution that you that you would love to see? Um, normally, you don't see in that first game, and, and um, we saw it on on um, all three phases. Offense executed everything that we wanted them to do. Um, defensively, we did the same thing, and then special teams really came up big and 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 in their role too. So we talk about five things of winning football. Um, we got to win a turnover battle. We did that. Um, you you got to win first down. We did that. Um, you you got to win in the red zone. We did that. You got to win big plays, and we did that. And, and then you got to win, um, win field position, and we did that. And so when you add those things up, um, you come up with a big win. But um, guys just executed what we've been practicing since the spring. So many great high points. We'll start with your freshman quarterback. He didn't look like a freshman out there. 11 of 13 through the air for over 160 yards, and then he ran from nearly 90. But I was more impressed with his composure. Very poised. And, and we knew that about Elijah. That's why we picked him to be the starting quarterback um, this first coming week. And, and um, you know, he, he's shown that. He's shown that in every scrimmage that we've had. Um, like I said earlier, um, you know, he didn't turn the ball over a lot, uh, a lot in the spring and training camp. He took care of the football, and that's really what it's about. And he had zero turnovers in that game. And, and um, that's really what I look for from the quarterback position. And he made great decisions. Um, he got the ball where it's supposed to be. Um, he got it to block where he can catch it and run. Um, you know, those type of things is what you look for. And he did a great job of executing our run game. Um, you know, when, you know, he gave the ball when he needed to, kept it and ran it, like you said, for 90 yards when he needed to. And um, just really, man, just had a lot of composure for a freshman in his first college football game. Your offensive line was brilliant, opening the way for over 400 yards, rushing Deshaun Jones had over 100 yards, and Jerry Joyner had over 102. Uh, this is going to be a, a pretty potent one-two punch. It, it really is. We knew that coming in. Both of them, these guys, seniors, they ain't played a lot of football. But like you said, that offensive line is where it starts. Of it starts up front with them, and and they really um, was was pounding and opened some holes. And and um, that long touchdown run by, by Deshaun actually should have been only a four yard run. He turned into seventy plus, and and that was just a heck of a football play by him. And some great effort. We had Roderick, who's a freshman, true freshman, come from the other side of the football field as a wide receiver and get a critical block in that. Touchdown run. That's the type of effort we're talking about. That's the type of effort that guys was giving, and that's what we talk about big plays. It can only happen if everybody give maximum effort and get a body on a body, then big plays happen. And then when you got a guy like Deshaun to break about 20 tackles at the same time, that helps too. Finally, your defense simply dominant. Man, what I really loved about the defense is this. You had everybody running to the football. It was never – I watched the whole game. I watched every tackle. It was never one guy on a tackle. It was always three or plus. And when you get three-plus people going to the football, making tackles all the time, that's huge um, when, when you talk about a, a defense. And that's what I was so proud of is that you had 11 guys hungry to get to the football. They was never saying, okay, he got it, I'm good. No, it was like, I want some of that, and I'm going to get there. And, and that's what was so exciting about um, the defense and, and, and what they did and only giving up 20-something yards in the passing game, even though these, this team really wasn't a passing team. That's still that's, that's huge um, when you talk about the defense and, and, and what they were trying to execute and what they were trying to get done. And so um, they almost had their shutout. And, um, but, man, I'm proud of the fact of how they played and, and really how they flew to the football. It was a fantastic first game of the season. Here's the highlights from the opening day victory.
Well, Coach, you hit the road for the first time this season. Non-conference opponent, Division II, Chowan. They'll be ready for this game. And what do you know about the Hawks? Well, listen, they're, they're a physical football team. This is probably one of the most physical teams that we played last year. Um, you, you ask Deshaun and ask him who was the phys most physical, they, he, he's going to say Chawan. Um, th this guy, th I mean, this football team, they, they really – fly to the football on defense. Offensively, um, you know, they, they kind of spread offense. Um, they, they, they try to get the ball to their playmakers. Um, you know, they're not, they not really a running football team, and so they're going to be throwing the ball around. And, and they got some, some weird-looking um, routes, you know. They're switching two and three times up the field, and, and they roll out and, and, and hit them guys. And so, um, you know, we got to be prepared. We got to be on our P's and Q's as far as our, um, our job is concerned. Just do what we do. Um, don't try to be more than what you are and just do your job, and, um, and I think we'll be fine. It should be fun. Six o'clock this Saturday night. We'd love to see you up there. Murfreesboro is about two hours away. If not, you can listen to us for free. 88.3 FM uh, goes all the way up to Holly Springs, down to Fayetteville. Also, free audio links at GoCamels.com. We love to see you up in Murfreesboro, but if you can't make it for Coach Mike Minner, I'm Chris Amar saying we'll see you next week on This Week in Campbell Football.